Now, let me say this. Everything in your life requires maintenance in order to operate to its fullest potential. Everything God gives you, he requires you to pay attention to it, to give it constant care and attention if it's going to be effective. Maintenance is simply regular care for something. Many of the things that we label as acts of the devil, beloved, uh, or a plot from the enemy, is simply neglect. There are many of the things that we suffer from and we attribute to the enemy, and we try to rebuke him off of our homes and off of our relationships, it's not the devil. Some of it is simply our own neglect. Neglect of the things that God gives to us. And when we neglect things that require constant care, what we reap are negative consequences. When you neglect things that require your attention and your care and your influence, we want to call it the devil, but really it's you. Is it possible that the things that are affecting you the most have nothing to do with the plot of the enemy? It's just that we've been given something that we refuse to give care to. It's not magic, it's a method to it. Think, okay, let me go here. Think about your relationships. Relationships of any kind breathe the air of your attention. And they're watered by the consistency of your presence. If you consistently disappear or disconnect, you will lose important relationships. That many of us suffer and cry for loss of relationships because we have not mastered the ability to work through issues or challenges in order to maintain those relationships. And some of the most important people in your life, be it your husband or be it your kids or be it your friends, they are asphyxiating from the lack of your presence. They are literally choking to death and you cry when they leave but the real issue was that you have not given them the air of your presence. You thought that you can maintain a dating relationship or a spouse or relationship or a friendship. Watch those people who find it very easy to disconnect from you. And you're foolish if you're the kind of person who doesn't care about relationships because God does everything through relationships. God does things through connections. And you say, well, if they left, I didn't need them anyway. But I, I disagree with you. There are some people who fit in that category that they didn't, you didn't need them anyway, but there are some people that God intended to connect with you for a reason and for a purpose. And you say, well, you just didn't need them, but God says, I put them there for a reason, to add something to your life, something that you needed, but because you're the kind of person who gets mad and disconnects, and you do not see the benefits. Sometimes there are people in your life that God intended to be there. And so now you're reaping the negative consequences of broken relationships, not because of the devil, but because of you. Oh, let me break it down to you. Some of these people that you disconnect from, you said they were toxic people. But the truth be so, sometimes you are the toxic person. I don't even know amens on that. <laughs> I disconnected from them because they were toxic. Sometimes you were the toxic person. You, it wasn't them, it was you because you have a tendency to disconnect, to pull the plug. And so now you suffer. Your, your, your spousal relationships suffer. Your, your relationship with your kids suffer. Your, your co-worker relationships suffer. And you suffer those negative consequences because you have not adopted the ability to maintain. It doesn't matter how many people God send in your life. You don't have the ability to maintain what God has put into your life. Oh, oh, you prayed and asked God for favor. God gave you favor, but then you ruined the relationship. He gave you favor. Oh, y'all looking uncomfortable. It's going to be all right. Just, <laughs> you look at somebody and say, maintain, maintain, maintain. Some of these people that left, there was a reason they left because everything in your life requires you to maintain it. Thank <laughs> you.